Hello, welcome back to A Keeper's Betrayal. We are here in the City Watch Station, wherever Delta Torchus is very dark. We are hunting for information. Uh, well, we came here hunting for uh, information on what happened to our Keeper friend. And we found his body dead here on the rack. Now, they didn't torture him to death, he was dead already when they brought him in because apparently he had a poison capsule that he used to kill himself. But, so we're supposed to go now to the docks. I just came this way. Go to the, supposed to go to the docks to look for whatever he dropped in the water and I won't do that just yet. I'm not going to do that right away. Because we still need to find the golden skull that the snowman has and I thought there might be a clue here in the watch station as to where the golden skull was. It's always really much too, much too narrow. On the plus side, I do think I've knocked out pretty much all the guards <laughs> in the area here. So they shouldn't be around to bother me. Now I did just pick up a key that off the someone's desk Is it for this door. Yeah, all right, so this is the Douglas house. Somewhere in here, surely it's somewhere in here he's hiding his golden skull. Um, I didn't really check this room very thoroughly, but I don't think there's anything in here. There's not really any, enough room for anything to be in here. Does he have lights? I mean, he's got a light that's on, but not giving off light. So I don't think his diary, I read it earlier, I don't think it has any real information on where he's keeping his golden skull. Um, but he's been collecting knickknacks and stuff, so uh, mm. now I did think that possibly this uh, bookshelf here was a secret door, but I haven't been able to find any sign of a switch at all. Right, so let's check our maps. So we're here at the City Watch Station, um, but we basically just came in the door here. I have been to the weapon shop and the, and the greenhouse. I haven't been to the inn or the jeweler. Now he set up this uh, this guy, this dealer. He set up at the inn to actually where it was where he was getting people to come with their precious goods in order to uh, trade them or buy them. He's basically an antiques retro guy. He's, he wants to find people's stuff they they think is valuable, filter out the really good stuff, and no doubt sell it. No, no you know, buy it for much less than it's worth. Still have some cards around. But I have much less than it's worth, so we can sell it for a big profit later. Now, this should be a big. Wait, what? That's the weapon shop. No, that's greengrocer. That's the greengrocer. Oh, this way. Right. Okay. No, it's, this was the, this was the door to the guy's place. Okay. Or something. Right. So if I head up here to the left, we should find the inn. Up ahead there, I think, is where I'm hearing this patrolling guard. Coming or going? Go. Oh, there's two of them. So that's going to be the inn. Judging by the sign. This one is going to go to sleep. In the darkness. Back to this dark corner with it out of my way. What's this place? I mean the jeweler, I mean, that's the jeweler. This is next door. There's a drunken guard around. Inside the inn, no doubt. <gasps> Let's just get them out of the way. There's so many cramped spaces in this map that uh, leaving guards alive means I'm pretty much guaranteed to get stuck. If I get seen. Ooh. If I get seen, I'm pretty much guaranteed to get stuck. <laughs> Stuck without any way of. Uh... Yeah, well, I don't think I can get in there anyway. It's a bit too narrow. <laughs> Might serve as a way out, but not a way in. So never mind. I'll just leave it. Before we check it in, let's check out this place. 
Wait, this doors are already open here. Wait, I've been here. Oh. Is this the jewelers then? Or was this a weapon merchant? I've robbed I've robbed the hell out of this place. Uh Yeah, okay. Yeah, never mind. Maybe this is the jewelers. Alright. I haven't been to the inn though, because there's still people there that are not unconscious. Always the uh, the sign. Although I have been down this alley before, this is all looking very familiar. I didn't come this way because I was sitting here in the darkness. Oh, I did come here. Sitting here in the darkness looking at the guard there. This is right near where I started. So I must have started here. Okay, and that confused me because I was getting confused. Because uh, the map hasn't really aligned. This is east to the jewelers and west to the inn, where it's just showing north and south. And the alley runs to the north, where it shows it west here. So this is basically what the compass is on this map, and that really confused me. I thought I was starting up in this alley, and then I was actually starting there and running this way. Alright, so I have been to the inn. Or at least come and peeked in the door. There doesn't seem to be any people with uh, weapons, right? So I can just come in and knock them all out. Wait, they're not even... They're not even hostile. Oh well, they can all get to sleep. Would you also like to sleep? Sleep. There you are. Tiny painting again. Okay. I'm gonna need a key here. What key is this? Is this the, the key that I picked up that I haven't used yet? Malvine's key. Nope. Right, it's none of the keys I have. Possibly someone I've knocked out has a key. Oh, I can pick this one. Oh, I can use either lock again. It's the weakest, the weakest lock ever. Banner! All banners must die. So I'll wait for all. Nothing else in there except uh Why don't you go to sleep on the bed instead of in the hallway? You'll be much more comfortable. Is there something under the bed? Oh, it's a bit of banner. Alright. Oh, there's someone already asleep in here. I'm guessing that third room must be the one that the dealer was using for his trade. Let us check out down here. Do you have any keys? No? I'm still hearing people around, so I'm just going to move the bodies out to the darkness here. So I can open doors without fear of somebody seeing one and screaming. On the safe side. Okay. Who's there? Who's there? What was Someone that noise? There? It's pitch black. Who's there? Sorry, I meant to hit you and hit the table instead. We're gambling here. Do they have any purses? Apparently not. It's not very much money on the table either. But we've got 854. Our goal is... Oh wow, our goal is 1600 worth of loot and we haven't found that anywhere near that yet. Where is it all hiding? I thought I'd been over most of the town already. Uh, righty ho So... Firstly, Garrett... The yeah, other rule, apart from banners die, Garrett always has to check his aim with uh, not too bad just a bit off the bullseye whenever he finds a uh, target barrels anything else or oh, barrels that don't even collide with it's 
God, every barrel on this mission is like that. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm missing a key to that extra room. Maybe the keeper has it. I don't know. I'll make a note. I need a key at the end. And is there anywhere else I need a key for? Oh, I need the skull from here, right? I'll just, I don't know if it's there, but I'll just make a note that I still need it. It's in my objectives, it's fine. Alright, so I want to go back to the docks, which is southwest. Wait, what? Not south. Um. Hang on. North and then east and going around to the south as I go east. Oh, is it past the mechanists again? Oh, it's on the other side of the mechanists. Oh, that's right, the sewer key. Is that the key I picked up? No, somebody stole it off his belt, or he lost it off his belt. Someone at the uh, police place lost the sewer key. So I don't know who has the sewer key, but that's just clearly a key I need, so let's make a note. Here's the docks. Alright, so, when they picked him up, someone said that he dropped something in the water, they looked around and couldn't find it, but I think it's up to me to try and find it. So, I am going to pump up the camera a bit, because I really can't see well enough otherwise. It's kind of cheating, but, uh, I'll be here all night otherwise. Here we are. Sewer key is what the, the keeper had the sewer key, and he dropped it in the water. Alright. Turn the camera back down. Alright, so now we have the sewer key. So I can... Get rid of that extra note. That was easier than I expected. Pass down Mechanist friends. And... Oh, it's something noisy. We have here. Okay. Sewer hatch. Oh, there's another key. It's another sewer key, okay. Uh, is there a ladder there? Yeah, I think there is. Yes. It's hard to see. Come on, get on the ladder, Carrot. Get on the ladder. Alright, now off the ladder, if you please. We have rats in the sewer. What a surprise. I think we've also got a spider or something. Also, not much of a surprise. Typical of the sewers. Well, I've got lots of broadheads. I'm gonna go this way. It's darker. What is the crate doing there? I don't know. Alright, what's in the sewers for us? Oh. Not a ladder. Where does this go? Oh, that's right, this is the, uh, the sewer gate we found hidden behind the wall. Alright. Off the ladder. Let's eat some apples. I got one hit point back. Cheese. Not quite sure why I'm carrying all food. All right, back to the <sighs> pipe. So we do need to go through the other pipe where I'm hearing what sounds like a spider moving around. Although, Sounds like spider foot 
Yeah, definitely a spider. Alright. Not sure where it is, but it's not in this pipe. Ah, it's not there, so I can... Try and scout it out. Oh, it's going to be walking around the edge, isn't it? Oh, it's just a baby one. Oh, there's another baby one. Alright. Is that all of them? Shut up, rat. Yes, I know you can see me. I don't like spiders, even the baby ones. Alright, what is, what is this pipe all about? Clearly oh, mossy and watery. Interesting. So quite a lot of moss arrows and water arrows. I'm not sure I need them. There's another crate down there. Looks like a hatch of those. People are someone's throwing stuff down here. Can I see anything here? No. <laughs> down here. I'm wondering why the keeper had uh, the sewer key on him if there's nothing in the sewers. Seems a little bit odd to me. Just a little bit odd. Also wondering, whoops, get out, get out. Wondering why there's these crates. <laughs> in these bits of the sewers, if they're, are they important? Just grab the other one here. Oh, this is important here, but I didn't see anything in here. I do see a hatch there, but it doesn't appear to open as far as I can tell. purpose to this. Surely there's no reason to stack crates here. Surely he says, but he does it anyway. I mean, that's doesn't, that's clearly not something that opens. Alright, what am I, what am I doing here? I really don't know. There's something in the water inside this pipe. I can't see it, and it's too shallow for me to swim down in. But I also can't crouch in it. So if there's anything in there that I can't see... I keep missing that jump as well. Come on, get up. Alright, I am missing something here in the sewers. Like, why would the keeper have to key the sewers? Unless there's something important in the sewers. Is it over this way? In this bit of the sewers. Let's check. Just to be on this. Just to be sure. A little bit tedious, but better safe than sorry. No. And did I miss anything on the roof in here? I like that roof texture. That's, that's nice. But. Well, it doesn't quite look like a. Uh, what's that? So we got this. This leads out to where we've already been, right? not like this area here is a secret keeper area, this is just the other side of a wall where we'd already been. Climbing over the wall, right here near the docks. So what, what is going on? So... Definitely missed something in the sewers, right? It's gotta be in the other room. It's the only significant looking room in there. 
I'm just being blind. <laughs> Blind or I mean I was searching the floor before. Is there anything on the walls? Surely something you can hear other than just the arrows, right? Oh Okay. An almost invisible tunnel. It's probably quite visible uh, in the recording, I guess, because of the light adjustment. Alright. What do we have down here? It's another room. Where the key? The in room key, that must be the one we're missing, and a note. Garrett, once again we need your help. The first keeper in our compound, Keeper Buran, has been acting strange recently. He has developed a love for the material world. You just have to take a look at his room to know what I'm saying. More odd is the fact that he has started setting guards at night, something we haven't done in a long time. He has been secretly making nightly visits to the lower levels of the compound. The second keeper had me follow him. I found locked double doors. We questioned some of the acolytes on guard. They said that Keeper Boran had a guest a few times in the middle of the night. We found, to our dismay, that the guest was Malvine, the priest of the local Mechanist Temple. Garrett, we think that Keeper Boran and the Mechanist Priest each hold one of the keys to the locked doors we found. Please find the keys and find out what's happening in the back of those doors. The key I left here opens the door to a room in the local inn. That should help you find our hidden compound. I can't say any more for fear that this letter may fall into the wrong hands. Good luck, Garrett. Keeper Troy. <laughs> Alrighty, um, well we got the new objective and immediately completed it. The priest at the local mechanist temple should have a key that opens one of the doors. Troy talked about it. Find it. So we got that one. Keeper Buran should have the other key to the doors. It should be well hidden. Find it. Find out what Keeper Buran and Malvine are up to. Reading Buran's personal notes should give you some insight. Alright. Uh, hmm. Let's go back. Yeah, I can totally see why when I was just looking at the floor, even if I swam by that, I would have missed it. There's no, no contrast there. Very easy to avoid spotting. Come on, Garrett, climb up. Garrett? Thank you. Alright, so now we have to go back to the inn. Just back out this way is probably best. A very, very short sewers. Garrett's always like scraping the top of, top of his head all the way. Oh. Alright, let's open the door. door. Okay. Oops. So the inn's this way. Uh, I think. Yes, the inn's just here. So we can go back upstairs to the and open the door that was locked previously. Try not to trip over the innkeeper. Where are we? In room key. So this is the way to the secret keeper compound. Apparently. Or should we hidden? Oh, banner. <laughs> This is going to open somehow. This one definitely opens somehow. I mean, it's even inset. Look at that. So, where's the switch? There we are. Hello. The secret passages aren't as uh, secret as you thought they were. Oh, yeah, these barrels are all non colliding. So, there are keeper guards apparently. I've got to watch out for. Although not here. Yeah, wow, this is... How does this place go unnoticed? Objective complete. Find the secret keeper compound. Alright. It's not even underground, it's just like... Just right here. Wow, it's enormous. You'd think someone would notice on the map that there was, you know... Something here where there was supposed to be a mountain or something like that. Alright, let's go inside. <laughs> Who 
their footsteps. Where did they go? There's passageways on the side. So the door is a door. Somebody there. No, it's a something there. Somebody in here. Walking around fast. Why can't I see him? Oh, they're there in the distance. Okay. Patrolling up along the wall and coming back this way. So they come up here. <coughs> Somebody else is coming this way. They're hard to see, they're almost invisible. Uh. I'm kind of surprised I could see this guy at all, but it must be because it was fairly well lit. So I guess I want to get behind him and knock him out as he uh, makes his way away from me. in this dark shadow here. Oh, yeah, it's dark. Reasonably dark. Right, what are you guys hiding? Do you have any money? Or do you have, like, vows of poverty? Somebody out there. You got a scroll. Acolyte James! Bring back those books you borrowed from the library. You've had them for a month. Keep your books. Yeah, they must have vows of poverty. They've got nothing. No wonder Garrett didn't want to stay with the keepers. It's like, Garrett, do you swear to hold no possessions, possess no gold, turn your face aside at thought of silver, cast gems from your hands as if they were made of fire? Taff, no. That's what Garrett would have replied. Ooh, glowy. Uh, yeah, where do you, where do you keep people's heads on your desk? Well, there's a fire arrow, that's nice, but those heads are less nice. The last one on the floor. Stained glass window. There's an entire second floor there. Oh, there's a lot of to go there. Yeah, Alright, let's go up there and have a look. This is just kind of the... A sleeping area. Seems unpopulated. So. I should be pretty safe, right? Two to a room. Oh, he's got bottles instead of a chest. That might be against the keeper rules. I don't know, maybe they're happy. Maybe they're okay with the. Acolytes drinking. Moss arrow. Nice, but hardly needed. Anything on the other tables? I will say these rooms are these are nice and roomy rooms, unlike many of the others I've uh, been in. Plenty of space. All right, uh, it was not a very exciting uh, exploration. 
But for the sake of completion, it's down done. <coughs> Ouch. I was trying to uh <laughs> get on the ladder there, but alright. No no real harm done, I've still got healing potions. Okay, I think there's somebody out here. Dark that's in the doorway. No, I'm gonna try going a different way to get there. It's like this, somewhere where I can sit in the darkness. There's someone else there too. Felt sure they would see me. Apparently they didn't. Hold it sounds right, I'll go back. Wait a minute, I've got to check the other path from the front gate. Obviously there's those doors too, but I want to see what's down this way. I can't see a damn thing! And yet here it's too bright. A lot of carrots. But they don't seem to have any carrots in their uh, kitchen here. Yeah, they've got apples. Alright. Oh, they do have carrots. Alright. Not that it helps carrots see in the dark, but you know, for the sake of. Mm. No, it's not a chimney that I could climb in. So there's nobody around, I think. Shouldn't need to creep too badly. Where's my bread? Uh, I hear somebody. Car's not dark enough here. tile floor, it's dead silent. I want the bread. It's just fancy carpet. Well no, it's actually dead silent, not even carpet, so the carpet quiet. Alright, so we're back here again. Alright, let's put out a torch. I don't want to be seen. Especially when I can barely see them. Mm. I need somebody walking. Possibly above me. Let's see, I'll keep an eye on the upper rafters up there. Does it just sound like, like they walked right past me and I saw nothing at all? Yeah, yeah, they're up on top. Okay. That should be manageable. Especially if we put out more lights. We've got plenty more arrows, so. Uh, Easy enough to 
Wait for this fellow to come past. Where is he now? Oh, he's in the far corner. Surprisingly hard to see these uh, half invisible keepers. Right, here he comes. He shall taste my blackjack. <coughs> what? Just nothing. I guess it is. It isn't an easy thing to see a keeper, especially one who does not wish, wish to be seen. All right, four different ways to go here. Oh, this is just corner towers. Not actually doors. There's woods, right? There's woods. Is that wood? I don't think that's wood. I'll just zoom in and take a look to see if my arrow's stuck in there. Yeah, no, that's not wood. Okay. Well, maybe I could rope arrow on top of these places. See this one there. Is there anything up here except just a guard? Maybe not. Maybe that's all. Just a patrolling guard overlooking the garden. But if he's gone, I can go explore the garden without fear of him seeing me. Alright, let's do that. Also, I don't think I really went all the way around the garden yet. So we've got doors here. Fairly fancy place. Let's come back there. That is on the northern side. All right. There's a place on the north side of the garden. And uh, I think I've been here. Yeah, this is barracks, and this is my other little corner. Okay. Did I get the guard that was patrolling that way? Outside, there's. There's something, somebody there, alright. Once again, I'll finish in the garden before worrying about those. Let's just see if there's anything in here. There is indeed. And it's very bright. But. It's, it's loot, so I will take loot. Alright, 954 out of the required uh, 1600, so we've got. 650 left to collect. I hope these keepers have a lot of money somewhere because otherwise it's going to be really hard to get all that, all that amount of loot. Alright, where is... I'm coming around to this side because it's, uh, it's a little more dark. and there's somebody around. Are they downstairs or upstairs? Are they standing right in front of me and I'm just not seeing them? Hmm. Did I see... Hey, who are you? Oh. <laughs> they were indeed standing right in front of me and I didn't see them. I didn't see them at all. I just, I just walked into them. Somebody else here too. Somewhere. I think I can hear a frog beast somewhere. Down there somewhere. Alright, we've got a to the west of the library is the way down. There's somebody else in here. Is there anyone in the shop there? Or the, uh, the library... You know, where the librarian would hang out. I don't want to, I don't want to repeat my mistake and run into... <sighs> so what game is that then? My eye. Yes. I really, could only see a really vague shape. I couldn't even tell if they were facing towards me or away. 
Okay, I think the library is clear. There wasn't a door on this eastern side, was there? Nope. Alright, the librarian's office has books. No loot. And no obvious secrets. Alright. There is an upper floor. Not sure how I'm supposed to get there, but I can climb. Oh, there's stairs. No, that's not stairs all the way down, though. There's more loot, that's alright. I won't complain. Maybe the keepers are supposed to levitate. That's just full, but it's just way off. Seems to be no way up here. Interesting. Wonder if I can get up onto this ledge. <laughs> yeah, so we got torches. Oops. And glowy green spots of nothing. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything up there. Let's check this side for. Uh, Completion. Just be complete. Nothing. Alright, so we have the other. We have the big room on the other side of the garden. It's the entrance to the compound. Garden's this way. And then we have the room off the west of the um, library there. Hearing all that voice. Who and where? Disconcerting. Wait, maybe we haven't actually been here. library again. Hang on, that's not the door I was looking at. That's the door I was looking at. It goes downstairs. So two doors on the western side of the library. Where am I hearing this person? So there it sounds like it's coming from behind me. Library. Maybe they're down. Maybe they're down underneath me. All right. Big double doors on the western side of. Have I been here? Yeah, that's the dining room. On the western side. No, northern side of the garden. All right. That's the one we're through the court. Interesting stuff going all the way up. Hmm. Place for somebody to stand up there and look out over this thing. Oh, I don't see a way up there. Unless it's by climbing up this pillar of water. Which I can swim up and fall out of <coughs> and hurt myself. That doesn't seem to be a plan. Until wooden. I think I'm missing something. Maybe the answer is downstairs. Let's go downstairs in the library. Find out what we were missing there. So the library. Oh, 
What am I hearing those footsteps from? Sorry, there's a bit of a distraction, but... Oh. We have another place here I haven't been to. Room number four. Loot and a banner, okay. Important business. And a locked chest. Oh, this must be where the, uh, the non acolytes, the higher ranking keepers, hang out. Hopefully, they they don't have vows of poverty. To God. There it goes. Just turn around and go back soon. Not soon enough. Healing potion. Thank you. that nothing I'm at least pleased that they're more solid than their uh, rather ethereal appearance would suggest he didn't lock his loot away so I will take it 1354 we're getting closer to the goal banners to die and who lives upstairs here which way are we going? We're going north, okay. Number two, second keeper. So that was the fourth and third and fourth keepers, okay. Second keeper is the one who was spying on the first keeper. So what does his diary say? The master is behaving most strangely and secretively. I can understand his need for quiet contemplation, but his isolation is unhealthy. The master has been flinging gold about like mad. He has made a requisition request for renovations to his suite. For journeys abroad, to make inquiries and to pay agents in almost every city you can name. When he demanded a carte blanche for secret renovations in the cellars, I had to put my foot down. I reminded him that I am answerable to the order for the dispensation of funds, and that the protocols for this applied as equally to masters as they do to novitiates. He flew into a rage and stormed out. Keeper Buran was most apologetic and conciliatory today. He congratulated me on my obedience to the order. I awaited the demand for money, which I was sure would follow, but he asked nothing of me except my forgiveness. I'm not sure what vexes me more, his avarice or his sudden redemption. Of course it was a ruse. The renovations continue apace, despite the lack of funds. He makes little pretense at secrecy now, and has patrols and guards all over the place at all times. I have done a surreptitious inventory of our treasury, artifacts and furnishings. I had thought that he might have sold some of our treasures to the antique dealer who plays our town. But everything seems to be in place. Where is he getting the money? I'll set Keeper Troy on him to gather some information. That fellow can walk through walls, even here. If anyone can get to the bottom of it, Keeper Troy can. Troy says the Buran is meeting with the Mechanist, not on common ground, but as the secret guest of this compound. I must inform the Council, but I will need more proof. Troy says he will infiltrate the Mechanist and find out what he can. He also hinted that he was bringing in some help. Help? For Troy. There's only one person I can imagine who might be capable of assisting Troy in such matters, and I dread to press Troy for the name lest my suspicions prove true. Disaster. Troy is dead, caught at the Mechanist's compound. He took his secrets with him, as his training dictated, and he took my proof. I would have been able to find some proof if I had known how to get into the secret office I am certain is connected to Buron's room. This which should open the door must be somewhere in his room. I've searched everywhere else and haven't found it. I will have to report what I know to the council, and pray it is enough to inspire them to action. I don't even know if his mysterious friend arrived or not. If it is who I suspect, then what do hope do we have, fighting one traitor with another? What hope indeed? I may have uh, left your group and I may be stealing all your loot, but you know, my betrayal doesn't run any deeper than that. Lost the first keepers is locked. Uh, not a problem I can't solve. Uh, 
Ammo. Banner! Alright, first keeper's room. There's a little alcove for statues. Nice. So he's got a secret office connected to his main office. Alright, he's got some loot. And he's got a diary. Keep up around his personal notes. While tidying up the archives, I discovered a very old scroll. It makes reference to certain events in ancient history that I have never heard of before. It speaks of a necromancer and a book. There is nothing about it in the common reference stacks. I'll have to search the archives some more. I found a bundle of scrolls that refer to this strange old book I've come across. They call it the Earthbane. It is a book of spells which belonged to Manilion the Great, a mighty necromancer who acquired almost unlimited power and came to rule half the earth. Not until he was overthrown by the rebellious circle of wizards was the source of his power discovered. The Earthbane itself. The book would corrupt nearly anyone who possessed it, so they thought to put it beyond use. But as they argued how this might be done, their lust for the book's power took hold. None of them could bear to destroy the book, and none would let the others possess it. So they cracked its spine, and broke it into its five chapters. So I found one. Oh wait, so... Broke it into its five chapters, so... Presumably so that none of them could possess it alone. I found one! I found one of the chapters in the same box as the historical scrolls that first brought the Earthbane to my attention. The print had a false bottom. There was a portion of the book wrapped in silk. Its writing is unlike anything I have seen. While the silk and some parchment notes have become fragile, the pages of the Earthbane are as fresh as the day they were inked. Our compound was built over the foundation of the Circle of Wizards Temple. I have seen numerous references to... And then it stops. Alright. Well, I see a little uh, hatch there. Uh, I don't immediately see a way to open it. Uh, let me just scale the general office before I worry about that. Uh, it's a shame there's not more light, because, uh, you know, it would help. It would help. Well, let's look for switches. Switches or buttons or knobs. I mean, that is quite differently a hatch. Like the texture is all different. Oh wait, it's not a hatch. It's a pressure plate. I opened something. Aha! Knew those statues were fake. This, he has more loot and a more secret diary. Keep up with his personal notes. I went through some of the other scrolls I found in the library regarding the strange book I've come across. The scrolls call it the Earthbane. It's a book of spells which belonged to Manili and the Great. The mighty necromancer acquired unlimited power and came to rule half the earth. No one ever found out how he had suddenly become so powerful until he was overthrown by the several wizards, a group of wizards who rebelled against Manilian. They found the secret of his power in his book of spells. The book would corrupt nearly anyone who possessed it, so they hid it. I found some reference to his hiding place in some books and old scrolls. Like pieces of a puzzle, I had to gather them from across the land and fit them together. Only two pieces were missing. After much searching, I learned that they were in the possession of the Mechanist Order. I needed a way to get to them. Malvine is the priest of the local Mechanist Temple. I found him to be a power-seeking greedy man. It wasn't hard to get him to help me. A promise of unlimited power to the job. The puzzle was complete. We found the Book of Power, the Earthbane. I have been trying to decipher the words of the book. I'm almost done. Things are going well indeed. With the few parts I've deciphered so far, I'm starting to gain powers unheard of. I may now enter the room I keep the bane in without the two keys. This will give me more time to study the earth bane without that priest looking over my shoulder. I shall take the bane and hide it elsewhere pretty soon. Uh, right, so that's reading his personal notes. We still need to find his other key. Should be well hidden. Got the key to the double doors. Um, presumably he's here in his secret office, right? That's a window. He's stuck again. Painting. Hmm. Banner! <laughs> Regardless of what happens. Oh! And this time it pays off. 
have a passage, which I can barely see in, which is why I'm going so slowly. And a ladder leading down to this, this is this place. And there is the key. So swimming up there and trying to metal crust into it. But now we have Blue Ryan's key. Rather an ostentatious place to hide it, really, but I guess nobody else can get up there. Okay, how are we doing for loot? Uh, we need 1600, we've got 1554, so one more tiny piece of loot should do it. Oh, that was noisy. Alright, so we have the two keys. I think we just need to go downstairs now to the cellar. It's the other way up the library. And from there, well, keep an eye out for the guards that we've got down there, of course. And from there we can uh, find, with any luck, the uh, where is keeping that earthbane thing, book thing. Uh, this is a library, isn't it? No, yes. I'm still hearing, you know, coughs and stuff here. Or whatever. Uh, this door. Yeah. Oh, this will be where I'm hearing the coughs from, okay. Might just knock out this torch. I hear pro beasts and spiders and guards. What do they keep down here in this cellar? Or who do they keep in the cellar? Right, he's standing watch over this passage, I guess. <coughs> Can't quite reach him from here. Yes, I can. I'll take that. I'm just kind of worried that I'm going to like walk into a frog beast I can't see. Or worse, a spider I can't see. Attention! Acolytes studying the creatures, please keep in mind that they are not to be fed. Know that the spider eats human flesh, and remember what happened to Acolyte Seragil before trying any experiments yourselves. Creature Keeper. Alright, so they're locked up, surely. That's only a baby spider. Let's see what he's got in here. One, two, three, four, that must be unlocking the cells, so let's not do that just yet. Explosive. That's that door. Nothing else. Got a rat man there in cell. Are they numbered? Is they numbered? I can't see the numbers. Oh, that's three. That's one. Right. Baby spider and three. That hurt me. Saw me. Oh, big spider there. You know what? You know what? Um, I don't know any minds, but I am going to just, you know, let these things out and deal with them. Let's see if number one and number three will fight. Didn't make the noise I was after. I want a lot. No, close away. Hold 
that. I'm hearing more spiders. There's another one here. There is. Let's lock it then. Ah. I just can't get a feeling like they're going to be a trap for me later. Number three, right? again. Three. Alright. And also, I hate the spider's noises, so I'm just going to get rid of them. Come on. Well, that's not what I meant to do. I can probably just hit it, right? Right, problem solved. Let's get the next one. Where's the switches? Ah, oh, this room. I'm almost blinded here. It's so, so dark. Alright. Big spider now. Can I get the big spider? Without it seeing me. Can't see it. There we go. Frog beasts can stay out of my then. What do we got here? Pile, a suspicious pile of uh, crates. What's behind them? Yeah. Don't stop, stop throwing the crates into yourself, Garrett. Secret door, right. So again, it's pitch black in here. I can only just see the wood grain. Oh, this goes to a door, apparently. Right, so this is where we need those two keys. Yes. Okay. Oh great, there's more spiders. Come on guys. It's not not fun. Spiders, I don't want the spiders. Wait, this is a dead end. No, surely that opens. Did I miss a switch somewhere? None that I can see. It's not just illusory. Right down the other passage where I could hear the spiders whispering to themselves their secrets, their shivering secrets, hisses. It's the other side of this wall. Disgusting things. Uh, it's right there. One of them. Any others? Can't see any yet. Got two passages I can go down. Let's try this way first. I could hear some more. I'm sure there's another spider here. I could hear it. Yeah. There it is. Right, once again, I should be able to get up without it noticing me. Disgusting creatures. Good. Yeah. It's a mission designer. 
Any chance of players in these narrow corridors? No way you can sneak past them, that's for sure. Uh, it's a dead end. Okay, this is just a maze, isn't it? A maze filled with spiders. Great. Good news is, I can't hear any more spiders just now. Slight patch of light. We've got another passage. Where does this take me? Uh, straight or left? Go left, because I've generally been heading left first. Dead end? I think so. Alright. Run this way. Passages. That's got actual light. This one, it must be a dead end. Yeah, there's a wall. I couldn't even see it in front of me. I can see the wall in front of my face. Alright, what have we got here? Passage. Alright, I think we make I think we're getting somewhere. Underwater passage that leads to where? from. Surely there's a trap here. Look <laughs> at the earth pain. Uh, Keeper Baron has broken his oath. And the keepers would be happy to be rid of him, so find him and put an end to his treachery. Okay, we're running out of space for these uh, objectives here. It looks like a doorway down there, but uh, this is a very noisy floor. I'm guessing he's down here somewhere. I can't see a thing. Ah, okay. It's a trap. Is that him there? Well, let's zoom in and have a look. I'd say that's him, wouldn't you? What if I use my one fire arrow on him, huh? Seems to be a haunt. Very haunt like. Oh, let's just unload, shall we? Easiest way to deal with uh, someone of his nature. Just to get him with a bunch of arrows. Well, that's all the arrows I've got. Sneak attack off him on him with this first. Can 
I just kill him? Oh, missed. He seems pretty solid. One more. Alright, so we saw that. I'm gonna pull out my fire arrow. Clearly alert now, but uh, I think I need more than that to kill him. I'm clearly doing something wrong. Can't seem to jump up there. Oh, there we go. Die, die. I had trouble uh, mantling up here. So it was nothing special. Go down there. Uh, right. Killed him. We still need to find the golden skull. Uh, and we need to get 1600 worth of loot. So I'm going to throw him into this void that uh, he tried to throw me into. Goodbye forever. Alright, what's out this way? Where's the key? Uh, I picked the lock. No, oh, it's a locked door that I can't find a key for. I'll oh, no key up here. Uh, okay. Can I get back out? No. What am I gonna do then? Uh, didn't he have a key on him that I shouldn't have... I should have picked his pocket before dropping him down into the infinite void? I guess that's a possibility. But let's have another look up here first. What did I miss? What did I miss? Anything? Mm -hmm. Can I see his body down there? Just, I couldn't see whether he had a key on him or not. Alright. Alright, so back here. He doesn't appear to have a key. I should go for that bit. Can't make it. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's something up there anyway, but how am I supposed to deal with this? Oh! It opened itself this time. Alright. Problem solved. Again, that looks very much like a pressure plate there. I don't want to stand on it. Back through the maze. Alright. We've dealt with this uh, first keeper, the maze body rot there forever. All we gotta do is finish stealing our loot. Uh, God, what's the way out of this maze now? Yeah, 
that's one of the damn spiders. And is that the way in? It is. Right, we go up to the secret passage here, I think. Yes. Pass the frog beasts. Pass the unconscious ape man. Goodbye, creatures. Back up to where I can actually vaguely see again. Back to the library. I think we're done with the keeper compound then. Just gotta remember the way out. It uh, was south, I think. Yes. Alright, we're still missing a little bit of loot. We need 1600 and we've got 1556 or something. Oh, we've got some more bread and carrots. Let's eat them. Where's the loot? Where are we at? 1579, we need less than... Well, we need 31 to reach our target, so... Hopefully, when we find this golden skull, it's actually worth something. Well, there's a secret slave in secrets here, isn't there? So we still need to find the golden star skull... ...from uh, that guy who was opposite the watch station. So I guess I go back there... Um, where was it? Up in here. Up in, no, not there. Where was the way? Where was his house? Oh, that's a weapons dealer. This one. This one here. We still need to find this guy's golden skull. I am kind of stumped. So... Ah. That's where the secret was. Hiding up very high where I couldn't quite see. I guess if I stood here and looked up. Yes. I knew that was a suspicious uh, thing there. Right, but he has navigation globe. I don't know if that's valuable. That's valuable, now we've hit our target. And there's the golden skull. Oh, I want a putty knife, great. Um, no! Mission complete! Alright, that took us uh, an hour and 59 minutes. We found 1629 out of 2181. There's another 500 lying around somewhere. I guess there's two more secrets I missed, but uh, I have no idea where. I'm very glad I didn't pick expert because I. Even finding 1800, I would have been really stuck on. We only barely found the 1600. Uh, that was a keeper's betrayal. Um, and I guess that was the first keeper that was betraying everybody else. And Garrett, as usual, fixed the problem. So, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you for the next mission.